What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday night. It is uh, about 9.37 p.m. here along the West Coast, uh, April 6, 2023. Latest earthquake activity shows some movement off the uh, Columbia area. 4.6 coming into the Earthquake 3D globe here as we speak. Uh, quite the uptick in movement here across the globe. Um, pretty much globally, we did see some activity ramping up here across the Kurokamachaka Trench. Uh, into the um, Russia area, some deeper movement quake activity up here, 4. Point, or 5.8, excuse me. Uh, also some activity ramping up down into the New Zealand area. So let's go ahead and check out and see what's going on out here into the uh, California region first, where things are starting to light up within the last hour, uh, more specifically down here, just on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. Got a couple earthquakes coming in uh, in the last hour. Uh, looks like just to the west here of the San Andreas Fault. Um, mostly, uh, let's see if we got any 2.5s out here. Those are all microquakes for the most part, except for a 2.5 coming in within the last hour near the uh, Tres Pinos area of California. That is on the San Andreas Fault here. Now, this is the area that did see, oh, that four-pointer, 4.4 uh, 4 here, a few days ago. They have been seeing uh, a little bit of swarming. Or I should say aftershock activity uh, following that movement um, a few days ago. Uh, really ramping up here over the past week into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Notice some movement here off the coast of Northern California. Relatively deep as well. Also a little bit of activity up here around the Blanco fracture zone. This has all uh, been kind of an uptick here recently uh, along the southern end of the Cascadia. So kind of keep an eye on that pretty closely uh, for some movement. Uh, let's see what we got here off of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. we got a 2.1 coming in to the Octillo Wells and a couple other smaller quakes uh, within the vicinity up into the Pacific Northwest there around Seattle uh, and the Washington region. Doesn't look like too much activity kicking up. A little bit of movement south of Mount St. Helens. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here tonight and see what we have across the area. Make sure we got the most recent update here. It's been... Uh, uh, I keep saying this every night because it's been kind of odd. We haven't really seen any major uptick in trimmer uh, when we should be expecting it by now. Last uptick in trimmer was back in October of last year. And you can see the regular intervals up here. We should be coming up upon a uh, an event here soon. Uh, so 174 epicenters of trimmer around the Victoria area, Vancouver Island ranges, Nothing going on here across Northern California for now. Um, we'll continue to watch this though and um, see how it plays out. So I am here on my um, laptop, a different computer away from the stream. So I'm also having to use my internal microphone because my uh, external microphone would not work with this computer. And uh, that's all right. It sounds pretty good. Not as crisp or clear as the um, professional mic, but hey, it will work, right? That's the main thing. Uh, movement outside of the OKC area earlier earlier this morning where we did see a 4.0 coming into the area of Kearney, Oklahoma. Since then, got a little swarming of uh, aftershock activity in the 2 and 3 range continuing uh, throughout the evening here just outside of the OKC area. Um, not for certain, though, if there's any oil fields out there or not. Um, but uh, kind of watching it. Sometimes those oil fields are covered up by vegetation, so it's kind of hard to tell at times. Okay, movement around the area of the Caribbean plate, somewhat elevated here this evening, uh, including around the Columbia area where we've seen that 4.6 in the last uh, few minutes or so. Puerto Rico area getting in on quite a bit of activity as well. A look at the 2.5 map and above does show quite a bit of um, somewhat minor to moderate magnitudes up here around the Puerto Rico Trench and of course over here around the uh, Nicaragua area and the Middle America Trench. A couple earthquakes in there as well. Uh, although I think some of those were from this afternoon. Looks like a 4.6 and a 4.9 earlier today uh, in the Middle America Trench area. Showing up here on the Earthquake 3D globe as well. And uh, actually, I think this is just a USGS feed. Let me see here. We'll add on combined feeds. We're going to go uh, 
seven days, 2.5, and also the EMSC uh, World Last 50. It's always good to have a couple different agencies here up on the globe. Again, this isn't my typical setup here. I'm on a different computer for now. Uh, just kind of monitoring things here. Let's refresh this. Where'd it go? Uh, yeah, so there's some of our smaller quakes down uh, into the <clears throat> South America region. Although it looks like we're not picking up all of the... Hmm. It's a little odd looking. Not for sure why, but uh, okay. We'll roll with it. Uh, let's see what else we have out here. There's that... Uh, earthquake there into the Kuril Kamachaka Trench. It almost looks like we're only seeing EMSC out here. Oh, there we go. That's what I did wrong. <laughs> I put two uh, EMSC models up there. That should have fixed it. USGS and EMSC. So we're good to go. A little bit better detailed uh, earthquake activity out here. All right, also a 4.4. Looks like it's just coming in to the Tonga Trench area. Pretty deep. 500 kilometers deep down here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Looks like it is from the EMSC model. So we'll see what's uh, going on out here across the region. Then we'll check out New Zealand. Um, there we go, just popped up here on the map from the USGS. South of the Fiji Islands, almost 500 kilometers deep, getting some renewed activity back here into the trenches, uh, looks like this evening. Into the Geonet, or into the New Zealand area right after my morning update here this morning uh had a 4.5 coming in off the north coast of the north island new zealand area 136 kilometers deep it looks like it's uh, very close to the northern end of the hikarangi subduction zone that sits just offshore here of the east coast of north island um, so kind of watching that a little smaller earthquake activity as well with a 2.5 uh, near the christchurch area I was looking at the GeoNet servers here throughout the day today, and uh, definitely some of that earthquake activity showing up um, across the region, mainly around the North Island area. You can see some of those quakes uh, popping up up here, including that uh, four-pointer from this morning. Not seeing any major elevated uptick out here around New Zealand, but uh, definitely a slight movement. We'll continue to watch that here with that uh, readjustment up north here in the deeper trenches. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the Indonesia area. <clears throat> a couple smaller quakes here, according to the USGS. And not a whole lot of activity here, though, across the Philippines today. Only a handful of smaller quakes in this area. Um, not a whole lot going on throughout the Mediterranean area today, either. Atlantic Ocean looks pretty, pretty calm and clear. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, there's that four point. Looks like it came in as a 4.6 here on the uh, Tonga Trench earthquake just now. So yeah, 5.8 Kuril Kamachaka Trench. Getting some deeper movement quakes there. Uh, still waiting on this region to see a, uh, a much larger magnitude. It's been a little while since we've had a larger earthquake event up here. And of course that's uh, in a prime spot of some high accumulated slip rate. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, the big island of Hawaii. <clears throat> Just gonna have to bear with me on this computer here. It's kind of, it still works, but it's not as handy dandy as my one at home. Mostly uh, smaller microquakes here across the 24 hour map. Uh, last one shows a 1.7 on the big island of Hawaii around the Pahala area. And uh, movement up into the Alaska area looks fairly uh, active, but nothing major going on. Still seeing some movement out there around the Tanaga and the Takawanga volcano though. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here, folks. Anything major going on out here in the solar ham world? Let's see what's going on. Solarham.net is the site to go for some space weather updates. And um, looks like we're at a 55% chance for C flare probability, M flare at 25, X flare remains elevated somewhat at 5% chance. And that is due to the uh, sunspot region here still currently facing us. 
this regional sunspots here. I'm not for sure where the numbers went to, but uh, I'm not seeing the sunspot number. Uh, so this one down here still looks fairly complex. Notice the uh, intermixing of the polarities and also a new regional sunspot here on the southeastern limb looking fairly big and dynamic. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this sunspot that may pose a threat for some stronger flares as we head in uh, to the weekend and early next week. Definitely keep an eye on that. Nothing major going on across the board for solar weather uh, aurora probabilities. Things are fairly minimal in that area for now. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and um, enjoy the rest of the evening. We will chat at you guys here real soon. Uh, if not um, tonight, again, then we'll chat at you sometime in the morning with the update. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys back here uh, real soon. Take care.